Yo, what is up guys? It is Stanley here. Back with our video today. I'm going to be talking about the Logitech G403 Hero. Before we get on with the video, let's unbox the mouse. The G403 comes in a pretty simple box. It just displays some specs, information, all the normal stuff that you would expect on a mouse box. When we open the mouse box, it comes with the mouse, obviously, a Logitech sticker, thank you pamphlet, and an instruction manual, which instructs you how to put in the included 10 gram weight that is on the plastic molding. There's also a protective cardboard piece with Logitech's logo on it, if you want to know that and are interested in that. On the plastic mold, they also include a 10 gram weight, as I said before, and that's about it that comes with the box. One final thing I need to add is it was kind of hard for me to remove the 10 gram weight from the mouse after putting it in, but it might just be me and I'm bad at removing 10 gram weights. Uh, for the specs of this mouse, as the name suggests, it comes with Logitech's Hero Sensor, which is supposed to have 1 to 1 tracking and goes up to 400 IPS with the 1000 Hz pulling rate. The sensor can also reach a DPI level of up to 16,000, which is pretty impressive, but I don't know anyone who uses it. Anyway, the side grips on this mouse are made of some textured rubber that they call double shot rubber or something and it does give me a pretty good grip and the rest of the mouse is made of a matte plastic that feels great in the hands as well. The plastic doesn't make it sweaty at all and feels good. For weight of the mouse it comes in at a whopping 87 grams and if you're into those ultralight mice it might be a surprise but honestly it doesn't feel that heavy to me. And when you add the 10 gram weight, it becomes 97 grams. Obviously, yeah. The mouse cable is also surprisingly a lot better than the one on the G403 Prodigy. The cable feels a lot more flexible and light. It is also a lot thinner than the G403 Prodigy. Which shows that Logitech has kind of listened to consumers. Even though they still have a lot to work on in my opinion, with the cables and mouse feet. The, the Hero also has a minimalistic look. Some people will like it, and there is not much RGB on this mouse as well. Only on the logo and the mouse wheel. The mouse feet on the mouse aren't amazing, but they get the job done. The G-Hub software for this mouse is also really straightforward to use. And allows you to program buttons, set DPI levels, and set custom RGB profiles if you're interested in that. The mouse also features an onboard mode that allows you to save a profile to your mouse, which you can then take to a different computer, which is pretty nifty at this price point of only 50 bucks. Now, before I give you my, my opinion on this mouse, let's do a sound test for the buttons. Now that you guys heard that sound test, let's go over my opinion on this mouse. So I've got to say that the G403 probably has the best mouse buttons that you will find on a $50 mouse. 
the mouse 1 and 2 as well as the side buttons feel really satisfying and tactile with every click. Logitech could work on their scroll wheel click because it feels quite heavy and I think just there's something off with it. But when you're scrolling, you can feel each step clearly and nothing wrong with that one. So not only are the mouse buttons amazing at this price range, the shape of the G403 is also surprisingly good. At first, the shape of this mouse may seem a little weird for you since it has a large hump in the middle, but I think it is one of the safest shapes out there. You can palm, claw, fingertip it. It all works on this mouse, I think. Needless to say, it probably has one of the best ergonomic shapes and also has great side button placements. It's e very easy to get to the fat side buttons on the mouse, which is good. Some mouse, some mice, you gotta like finagle your thumbs all over, which is not very enjoyable. And it may not be the lightest mouse in the world, but it doesn't have holes in it all over it if you're worried about that, so that's a plus. And I know that this mouse is directly competing with the glorious Model D, which has a better cable and better mouse feet. So if Logic Tech actually takes a look at what their competition is doing, they definitely should further improve their cable and slap some PTFE mouse feet on their mice, which would really elevate the value of the G403 and make it a lot more competitive in the mouse market with the glorious mice, Viper, Endgame XM1, there's a lot of different mice out there at around this $50 price point. But other than that, I still think that the Logitech G403 Hero is a solid pick for $50 and is definitely underrated. It has a great sensor, great mouse buttons, and a great shape. So if you're looking for a budget mouse for around $50, I would recommend that you consider the G403 Hero in your next purchase. That's about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit the like button, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!